All these thoughts keep me up at night. As the Bafana Bafana team touched down in South Africa at the OR Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg during the early hours of Wednesday morning, an eager multitude awaited their arrival, brimming with anticipation to welcome the players back home. The scene was set for a grand reception, with throngs of supporters gathering to express their admiration and appreciation for the team's efforts on the continental stage. Amidst the excitement, the procession was led by none other than the South African Minister of Sport and Recreation, Zizi Kodwa, accompanied by Danny Jordan, the president of the South African Football Association, CFA, and other esteemed members of the organization. Their presence added an air of officialdom to the occasion, underscoring the significance of Bafana Bafana's achievements in the recent tournament. However, amidst the jubilation, Questions lingered regarding the financial rewards awaiting the players for their commendable performance, which surpassed expectations on the continental stage. In a press conference following the team's arrival, Jordan found himself unable to provide a definitive answer regarding the players' compensation. We don't know. We must wait on CAF, Confederation of African Football. The tournament ended yesterday. Jordan stated, highlighting the bureaucratic process involved in determining the players' remuneration. He emphasized the need for discussions with the players to finalize the details before disclosing any information to the public. Despite Jordan's diplomatic response, Julius Malama, the outspoken president of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, seized the opportunity to criticize Jordan for evading the issue. Malema expressed his discontent with the lack of transparency, stressing the importance of accountability in financial matters concerning the players. Malema's remarks underscored the broader sentiment among some sections of the public regarding the need for greater transparency and accountability within the leadership of Safa. He called for decisive action, asserting that the issue went beyond the celebration of Bafana Bafana's success and delved into the realm of governance within football administration. Drawing a comparison to CAF President Patrice Motsepi, Malema commended Motsepi's transparent approach to financial matters, contrasting it with what he perceived as opacity within SAFA. He highlighted the importance of public disclosure to ensure fairness and prevent potential discrepancies in compensation. We are not ignorant of the fact that we need drastic changes in the leadership of Safa, Malema declared, echoing calls for reform within the organization to address systemic issues and promote accountability. In essence, the fervent reception for Bafana Bafana upon their return to South Africa served as a backdrop for broader discussions surrounding governance, transparency, and accountability within the realm of football administration, highlighting the complexities inherent in balancing celebration with calls for reform.